My name is Steve Pygetts. I'm the director of C-130 Air Mobility Business Development for Lockheed Martin. I'm here at the Dubai Air Show in the heart of the Middle East, uh, where the C-130J has been selected uh, by many of our customers in the region as the tactical airlifter to support their needs. One of the reasons so many of the customers in this region have chosen the C-130J is when you buy uh, this aircraft, you're not just getting an airlifter, you're, you're getting a multi-mission aircraft which can perform maritime surveillance, uh, medevac missions, aerial refueling, VIP transport, firefighting, uh, and obviously humanitarian missions. So uh, when you see humanitarian uh, crises around the world, you notice that the C-130 and the C-130J are always uh, the first aircraft on the scene delivering critical supplies to uh, much needed areas. Uh, my name is Captain David Staff. I'm with the 815 Airlift Squadron. And getting in and out of um, the AOR, getting people in and out, getting supplies to the troops out in the field, getting the troops into the field, um, is that that's pretty much the you know the mission of the C-130, yeah. and uh, that, that's really how we use it. Really getting getting airdrops out, getting people in and out. The 130 airframe itself has been in constant production for over 50 years now, making it the longest continuously running military aircraft production line in history. One of the reasons for this is we've been in constant dialogue with our customers to make sure that we're meeting their needs. If there are certain specific requirements, we've incorporated those into the aircraft constantly. And although the airframe itself has remained unchanged mostly for the last 60 years, uh, the internal workings of it have been upgraded constantly. New propulsion systems, digital avionics, things of that nature. And now in the C-130J, the most latest iteration of the C-130 program, we've now reached the one million flight hour mark uh, since the first J flew, a major milestone for our aircraft.